What is up crew, it's your captain, Geronimo here, and in today's episode of Let's Play Star Trek Online, I'm gonna be doing a fan request. I hope I can call it a fan request. We're gonna be doing a review of Sovereign Class Bridges. To be more precise, those will be San Francisco, Zimmerman and Eves. But first, let's roll the intro. You can purchase additional bridges by opening up a Zen store, going to ships, and at the end opening up a bridge packs. In here you have a bunch of different bridges, you need to scroll down a little bit until you find a Sovereign class bridge, it will cost you 400 Zen. Head to your local ship customization officer to change the interior of your bridge. Simply click on the interior and find your bridge. Now there are a couple of free Sovereign class bridges which are Diplomat, Star Explorer, Alliance and Ceremonial but in today's video we're gonna be focusing exclusively on the Zimmerman, Eves and San Francisco. There is also one thing, if you go to the layout you will have these free sizes. This will actually change the amount of corridors that you have. For example, if you pick small your engineering wheel your engineering will be like you exit from a turbo lift on the left there is an engineering lab on the right there is a warp core but if you put it on a medium or a large you will have to navigate the corridors a little bit more so here are schematics of engineering and crew quarters small medium and of course large the rooms inside such as labs or the warp core chamber will stay the same, it won't change the shape or a volume depending on those layouts. So I'm going to be showing off the main rooms and then we'll be checking out the bridges. Picking it up with the San Francisco bridge, this is definitely my favorite version of a sovereign model. But unfortunately none of the bridges in game are screen accurate, there are these additional sets of consoles in front, the view screen is too far away, uh, counselor and first officer chairs are not positioned where they should be, but at least you have a ready room, which looks cool. Coming up next are the crew quarters, starting off with a galley. This is actually an interesting place, there are kind of a, these lounge areas, you can play cards, poker, there is a counselor in here, a place to eat, uh, there is a bar even, so it looks cool. Uh, definitely a place where I would love to come, sit after a long shift at the bridge fighting with the Borg. This is the captain's quarters, for my liking it's a little bit too big, and look at how tiny bedroom I have! And we are coming to the place where our all-time favorite doctor is. We have this kind of a big diagnostic area, bio beds, and even more bio beds. Cool. This is the Eves type bridge, uh, perhaps a little bit too dark. And there is this spotlight on a captain with the red lights. A little bit too Klingon for me, but it can pass, perhaps it's Red Alert. Main Engineering, probably one of my favorite places on the Federation Starship, hosting a massive and powerful warp core. Unfortunately this engineering looks like it's a little bit too big. Coming out to the corners, we have of course transport room, with our lovely chief being all transportery, I don't know, the corridors look really good. And coming up next we have our engineering lab with this kind of a crystallish rotating thingy in there. Who knows, perhaps it's a diagnostic tool. The Zimmerman type of bridge, perhaps a little bit too blue for my liking, it's also wrong, but <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, it's okay, kind of a futuristic take of a Sovereign class. It can pass. This is going to wrap this video up guys, I thank you very much for watching, I really hope that you liked it. If you did, remember to leave a like, come on, please, it helps this channel a lot and until next time, subscribe for more, because you are awesome. Geronimo, 
Oh, 